Sammy Davis Jr. is uh, is a man of extraordinary talents. He's starring in a new version of the uh, musical Stop the World, I Want to Get Off, which will be at the Fox Theater in San Diego this May 19th through the 27th. And then Sam will be at the Schubert Theater in Los Angeles May 30th through the 17th of June. And then at the Airy Crown Theater in Chicago the 20th of June through July 16th. Our good friend, Sammy Davis, Jr. Look at him, Just once in a lifetime A man knows a moment One wonderful moment When fate takes his hand Well, this is that moment My once in a lifetime when I can explore a new and exciting land For once in my lifetime I feel like a giant I soar like an eagle as though I had wings For this is my moment My destiny calls me Though it may be once in a lifetime I'm gonna do great things Just once in a lifetime A man knows a moment One wonderful moment When fate takes his hand And this is that moment My once in a lifetime When I can explore a new and exciting land For once in my lifetime I feel like a giant I soar like an eagle as though I Welcome back, John. Thank you. Uh, I would just like to say that going back on the legitimate theater stage, having not forgotten my roots of nightclubs, but going back to the theater and we're in the midst of rehearsal right now is one of the most exciting things and to be associated with the, the people that I am, I have the pleasure of being with on in the show and to have Anthony Newley and his partner, and also my very dear friend, Mr. Leslie Brickers, write a new song. They've written a couple of new songs for the show. And this particular song, and I'd like to do, it's the first time anyone's heard it except the kids at rehearsal. So you nice folks at home are hearing it for the first time, so is John. I would like to explain where it comes. It's the end of act one. And little chap, uh, is married, has two daughters, and his oldest daughter comes to him and says, Daddy, I'm going to have a baby. And this is the song that Tony and Leslie have written for that occasion. George, if you'll be so kind. Life, life is a woman. An endless surprise Always opening up your heart And 
closing your eyes, bending your brain, showering you with sunshine, love, and pain. Just like a woman, she changes each day. Holds you closely to her heart, then throws you away. What can you say? Guess it's one more game we have to play. And like a woman, life can save your soul with a kiss. One gentle kiss, and all the anger, all the fear, all the pain and sadness disappear. Being a woman, she never gives in, takes a special kind of fool to think he can win. Who wants to win? Talking with Sam. Thank you, Doctor. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think every time you're on the show, I always ask you that question, Sam. You work a lot. Because you love to work. And uh, it's been your whole life. Every time I say, hey, when are you going to take a break? You say, oh, I'm going to take a nice vacation. Now you're going to do a show. You're going to play eight shows a week. Yep. Uh, a matinee on, I suppose, Wednesday. Wednesday and, uh, and two, uh, on, uh, Saturday. two on Saturday. Yeah, that's a lot of work. No, I... I got to tell you something. I think it would have been a lot of work for me five years ago. It would have been a lot of work because my head wasn't together then. Yeah. But I am looking forward to going back to the legitimate theater. I'm not putting down nightclubs right. or the theaters and around and so forth. I'm just ready for it. I'm psychologically ready. I'm mentally ready. I've wanted to do the show since I first saw it 17 years ago. And though it's a new production, because right. I don't want no one to in the audience at home or in, in the studio to think that I, I'm gonna do what Tony does because right. only Tony Newley can do that. And I would feel kind of silly, 
you know, saying, hey, baby, what's happening? And then saying, what kind of you are. <laughs> it doesn't quite go. No, it doesn't, it doesn't go together. Go. And if I move my hands like he did, cats would be waiting in the alley for we me. Gotta, you know? we, gotta get, we gotta get some pins stuck in his wrist. <laughs> I, I kid him every time he comes on. I start doing him all no, of a sudden. No, he is one of a kind. But yeah, we, we've it's got, unique. I know it sounds like it, but I think you know, and Ed knows, that I don't, I don't say it unless I really feel it. It's a goodie, man. I got good people to work with, right. and I mean, my director, my choreographer, the kids in the show are taken from all of the various places where some have, have worked Vegas, you know, right. other shows, some have worked at mostly theater in New York, and, and my leading lady, Marion Mercer, is just to die. I know Marion. She's, yeah. she's yes. great. Marvelous. Yeah. And she does all of the characters. Oh, she can do drama. She so it's sketches. A, she's yes. funny. Great in Shakespeare, everything right. else. And, and the, the, new, the new approach to Stop the World, I think that everyone will like what Tony and Leslie have mm -hmm. done for me. Yeah, I hope really? it's a big smash. And, and it will be. I only wish you would have walked out tonight in your rehearsal clothes. Uh, uh, Sam was re rehearsing this <laughs> afternoon. He was wearing something like a pair of Dr. Dentons. I have a... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my... See, I'm... I'm because I'm little, man, yeah. I can't, I, you know. Does it have feet in them? I didn't see because you had shoes on. Them. <laughs> I thought maybe it was a one-piece thing and had little feet in them. And... No, and it's got no little buttons on the back. You know. That was very cute. No, it's just that I can't, you know, small. You, I have to get an extra small, you know, of everything. And, yeah. I, and, it's, and I'm a little embarrassed, really. Occasionally I'll do it, but I'm really basically embarrassed <laughs> to go into, you know, the children department at Sears, you know. <laughs> woman says, you must be 87 years old. <laughs> I'm buying it for my son. <laughs> but I'll just try it on and see if it'll fit him. Sure. <laughs> and, my, and my oldest boy, Mark, is 6'1". Yeah, and says, what do you, you know, mean from me? Well, it's not for me, Dad, you know that. <laughs> As he looks down on me and I say, don't you talk back to me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, your, your wife, Altavis, was in this afternoon. We were kidding her a little bit. And my wife, Joanna, because I think we ought to mention what they're doing. Oh, As they yes. do every year, the girls from Cher out here which is an uh, organization for Exceptional Children's Foundation, put on a show every year at Santa Monica. I think it's May 20th this year. May 20th. And the girls get together, most of them non-professional. I think Alto is one of the few gals who has danced professionally. And most of them are wives of people either in the business, not necessarily in the business. And they get together and put on the greatest non-professional, I hate to say non-professional because it, it looks professional when they get done. And they put these gals through the pieces I don't see how they dancing do. and things that uh, are incredibly complicated. And I must, I must say that the ladies not only come up to par, but for 25 years, some of the members have been there for 25 years. They right. have, they just keep, the, each show gets better. And of course, everyone in this town has been so supportive to share. Yeah. And this you, year is the 25th anniversary right. for the gals. And they got you lined up. Yeah. And they got Dean Martin. You mentioned right. Tony yeah. Newley. Tony Newley. They have Steve and Edie. Right. They have myself, and they've got Frank Sinatra you, for maybe? openers. For now they're, mm -hmm. Then the big acts come in later, <laughs> you know. But uh, anyway, if you're interested, it's at the Santa Monica Auditorium, May 20th, and it's, it's for Cher, and it's for a nice cause, and we should mention that, because our, our ladies work uh, their little buns off. They certainly do, boy. And the husbands have to put up with it, and they better be there. Come home very sore and tired. They come home sore. It's definitely <laughs> no time for a fool around. <laughs> It put you on infinity hold. That's it. We'll, we'll take a break here. We'll be right back after this. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Arthur. Good morning, Judge. Arthur. Hot. Hot. What, uh, what hobby are you into now? I know you were on the uh, photography for a while. Right? Yes. Uh, cooking is new, the new thing I understand with you. Yeah, I'm into cooking. You're very into cooking, because you go on the road, he cooks. Yep, I, I cook all my own meals, and uh, I got into it about a year and a half ago. I gave up booze, you know, except for an occasional glass of wine. Welcome to the club. And I gave it up, and I was so nervous, I had to have something to do with my hands. And within a 10-year period, I went from, hey, what's happening, baby, to mincing and dicing. <laughs> Straining and Straining mixing. Straining and mixing and putting that in the cousin art. You know. What's hey, your, listen, what's I your got, specialty? My, I'm not giving away nothing. Come man. on, what's your, no, what's your big No, 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 no. I got a surprise for you. I told you earlier when I came up, you know, when I saw you earlier, you I had a surprise. You food? No. Oh. No food. I got a very nice surprise. I think it's a nice surprise, because it's for you, and I know you like it. Yummy. Can I, uh, can I? Thank you. 
old paper. He brought me an old paper bag. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we as performers, with people that we really like, we try, thank you, Doc. Here, Doc, would you take this from me too? Sure. And while you're out, get something for yourself. <laughs> oh. Since I'm not gonna be in nightclubs in Vegas and the rest of the places for at least a year because of Stop the World, I thought if I was going to do this number, for the last time in a year, I wanted to do it on John's show. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bojangles. Uh, yeah. Oh, I knew a man, Bojangles, and he danced for you. In worn out shoes, silver hair, ragged shirt, baggy pants. He would do the old soft shoe. He could jump so high. Jump so high And then he lightly Touched down I met him in a cell In New Orleans I was Well I was down and out He looked to me to be the very eyes of age as he spoke right out talked of life talked of life laughed slapped his leg a step he said his name was Bojangles then he danced a lick Right across the cell He grabbed his pants Took a better stance Jumped up high That's when he'd Click his heels Then he'd let go laugh Lord, 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 he'd let go a laugh. Shake back his clothes all around. And that was Mr. Bojangles. Mr. Bojangles. Mr. Bojangles. The man could dance he Told me of the times He worked with minstrel shows Traveling throughout the South Spoke with tears of Of 15 years How his dog and he They would travel about But the dog up and died The dog just got old and died And after 20 years he still breathed He said I dance now at Every chance and honky tonks For my drinks and tips Most of the time I I spend behind this county bus. You see, son, I, I drink a bit. Then he shook his head. Lord God, when he shook his head, I could swear I heard someone say, please. Mr. Bull 
come back and dance We need to see you dance again Mr. Bo Jangles mm. Mr. Bo Mr. Bo Mr. Bo Mr. Bo Jangles That is a classy piece of material. And well, thanks for doing it tonight. Thank you, babe. I wanted to do it. And uh, a deep bow and appreciation to Doc's guys and, of course, George Rhodes at the helm of things. George, beautiful. Knock out John. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. We're back. That was nice, Sam. That was really uh, kind of like... Uh, and had a little gingerbread to the show tonight. So well, I, that's nice. I wanted to I wanted to do it because uh, you know, you said it when we were when oh. the commercial was on. Everybody's got one special thing that the audience selects that they want you to do, yeah. no matter what you. And I can go out and do anything on the stage in terms of what I think of big numbers, but the, invariably, sure. the show is not complete, no matter where I work, unless I do Bojack. You go back to the bag and pull out the classic pull piece out, and do pull it. Pull it out, man. Yeah. yeah. Hat goes on, and the only the only thing is, I'm glad I'm doing it now while my hair is natural, because it had. Can you imagine me doing this five years ago or ten years ago when I had the grease in my hair? I remember that period Keep in your putting, life. You know, putting that stuff on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> now you went through that. Uh... Oh, are you kidding? Yeah. I had a do man slick back, and when I did that, it moved. I, <laughs> I remember one. <laughs> I'd do that now, you break my neck. You were, you were kind of going through an orange, uh, you had a strange... Uh, no, that's the, that, that was period? the color of my hair because it was back and forth and I always yeah. had like, and I tried to dye it, then I went back. Now I don't worry about it. Yeah. I got a bald spot up here, one there, and uh, this is natural, man. Yeah. That's the gray is in there. And I'm kind of proud of it. I really am. I'm 52 and I'm glad. I really How come yours is darker than mine? I'm, I'm... So much. Wait, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I want to... Now, we're the same age. Yes, right? but and look what did you say? Little, like Bernard Baruch sitting on a park bench. <laughs> you Apples. Said... Where are the pigeons? <laughs> you... <laughs> he wanted to know how come his yeah. is lighter than mine? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, nobody spleened the two we have <laughs> Okay, we'll do this. And a charming young lady will join us. Stay where you are. <laughs> 